speech are you talking about? You use Twitter. Right. Do you see a rise in free speech? Free speech is meaningless unless you allow people uh, you don't like to say things you don't like. Otherwise, it's irrelevant. Um, and if at the point at which you lose uh, free speech, uh, it doesn't come back. I, th I think the issue some people have is that a lot of people were brought back. I mean, some people were brought back who uh, were previously banned for spreading things like uh, QAnon conspiracies. You have people like Andrew Tate who were brought back who were previously uh, banned for things like hate speech. Do you think you prioritize freedom of, of speech over misinformation and hate speech? Well, you know, who's to say that something, something is misinformation? Um, Who's the arbiter of that? Is it the BBC? No, you literally, literally asking me. Yes. Well, no. You, you who are is the, the arbiter? You are the arbiter on Twitter because you own Twitter. Yes, I'm saying. Who, who is to say that uh, one person's misinformation is another person's information? Um, at the point at which you, you say that there is, uh, this is misinformation. Like, who is but going you, but to decide that? You accept that misinformation can be dangerous, that it can cause yes. real world harms, that it can potentially cause them. Um, yeah, so the point I'm trying to make is that the BBC itself has, at times, published things that are false. Do you agree that that has occurred? I, 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 I'm quite sure the BBC have uh, said things before that turn out to not be true. Right. Uh, in, in its, whatever it is, 100 year history, I'm quite sure. Yes. Even if you aspire to be accurate, there are times when it will, you, you will not be. We've spoken to people very recently who were involved in moderation, and they just say they just, there's not enough people to police this stuff, particularly around, um, particularly around hate speech um, in the company. Do, is that well, what hate that you speech are you address? talking about? I mean, you use Twitter. Right. Do you see a rise in hate speech? I mean, I, I, but just a personal anecdote. Like, what do, do you? I don't. P personally, my uh, for you, I would see I get I get more of that kind of content. Yeah, personally. But I, I'm not going to talk to talk to the rest of for, for the rest of Twitter. So you see more hate speech personally. I would say I would see more hateful content in that in that content moment. you don't like or or hateful. What do you mean to describe a hateful thing? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, just content that will solicit. A reaction, something that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist. Those kinds of those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, no, is I'm that not, what you're saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm well, saying. I'm just curious. What you, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you mean by hateful con content. And I'm asking for specific examples. Um, and if and you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be banned? Well, you've asked me. You've asked me whether my feed, whether it's got less or more. It, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's what I'm asking for examples. Can, right. you, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't use, I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why, because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore, because I, I just don't particularly like it. But you actually, said you've, a, lot of people, a lot of people are quite similar. I, 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 only, well, well, I only look well, at hang my, on a my second. following. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example, not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks. And I, well, I, then I how did you see the hateful content? content? Because I've been I've been using I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right. And you I, can't I, give a single I, one. And, I, and, I, and I'm saying I, I, then I, I say so that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give a single example of hateful con a content, not even one tweet, and yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed, you just lied. What no no what I claim was. Uh, there are many uh, organizations that say that that kind of information is on the rise. Now, whether whether it has on my feed or not, I mean, I, right? And Literally, you can, can you something one. like the, the uh, Strategic Dialogue uh, Institute in the, U, in the UK. They will say that. So you, they, look, it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right. And as, as I've already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, then how let, would you know? Then, that I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content. And then couldn't name a single example. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at that feed. I then how would you know this hateful content? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. Let's move on. We have, we only have a certain amount of time. Um, wow. COVID misinformation. You changed the COVID, you changed the COVID misinformation. Has rules. BBC changed its COVID misinformation? The BBC does not set the rules on Twitter, so I'm asking you. No, I'm talking about the BBC's misinformation about COVID. I'm, I'm, I'm literally Has asking you about, you changed the labels, the COVID misinformation labels. There used to be a policy, and then 
it then disappears. Why, why do that? Well, COVID is no longer an issue. Does the BBC uh, hold itself at all responsible for misinformation re regarding ma masking and, and side effects of vaccinations and not reporting on that at all? And what about the fact that the BBC was put under pressure by the British government to change its editorial policy? Are you aware of that? This is, a, this is not an interview about the BBC. Oh, so. you thought it wasn't? <laughs> and this, I see now why you've done Twitter Spaces. I am not a representative of the BBC's editorial policy. I want to make that clear. Let's talk about something else. I'm interviewing you, too.